In 2015, the Northwest Crops and Soils Program of the University of Vermont Extension began studying high glucosinolate mustard as a biofumigant and cover crop in vegetable cropping systems to see its effect on weeds, disease, and yield. As part of a Vermont Agency of Agriculture, Food and Markets specialty crop grant, Dr. Heather Darby, her team, and a participating grower compared four high glucosinolate mustard varieties over four planting dates. To gain an introduction to high glucosinolate mustard and the research design used for last year's portion of the trial, see our video linked here. In 2015, the team planted the varieties Caliente 61, 119 and 199 and Terminator at Borderview Research Farm on the 17th, 24th, and 31st of August. The varieties Caliente 61 and 119 grew to a height significantly taller than the other varieties, with an average height of 25.3 and 27.2 inches, respectively. Those two varieties also were the highest yielding, with Caliente 119 yielding 4,420 pounds per acre. As to be expected, the first planting date of August 17th across all varieties yielded the highest at 4,190 pounds per acre, which was comparable to the second planting date of August 24th, yielding 3,990 pounds per acre. The first planting date also had the greatest height at 35.2 inches. The following season, in 2016, plots were assessed for soil health characteristics, weed populations, and subsequent vegetable plantings were assessed for productivity and disease incidence. On May 5, 2016, Yukon Gold potatoes were planted and on August 1st, they were harvested. Mustard variety and planting date did not significantly impact soil characteristics such as pH, organic matter, nutrient content, aggregate stability, and compaction, which were assessed in April of 2016. Plots where Caliente 61 were grown showed the lowest incidence rates for potato skin diseases, rhizoctonia, and scab, which is caused by species of Streptomyces. Caliente 119 performed comparably well for potato scab. Both mustard variety and planting date did not appear to impact potato yield or weed populations. In 2015, the team planted the varieties Caliente 199 and Terminator at Walcott, Vermont, on the 31st of July and 17th of August. The varieties did not perform statistically different for height, yield, or nutrient content. As to be expected, the first planting date of July 31st across all varieties yielded higher at 878 pounds per acre and grew taller at 44.9 inches. The following season, in 2016, plots were assessed for soil health characteristics, weed populations, and subsequent snap bean plantings were assessed for productivity and disease incidence. On May 27, 2016, we planted the snap bean varieties High Style, which is susceptible to root rot, and Accelerate, which is resistant to root rot. And on August 2, they were harvested. Mustard variety and planting date did not significantly impact soil characteristics such as pH, organic matter, or nutrient content, which was assessed in April of 2016. Plots where the mustard was grown yielded significantly more high-style snap beans compared to the control, with Terminator yielding the most at 4,540 pounds per acre. Mustard variety also did not have a significant impact on weed population or root disease. The first planting date at July 31st performed better in the snap bean variety Accelerate with a lower root disease incidence rate, and the August 17th planting date had a lower percentage of the plot covered by weeds. When evaluating the meal performance, interestingly, the control plots showed a significantly lower incidence rate for root rot in the snap bean variety Accelerate compared to the mustard meal application, while for the high style variety, the whole plant mustards outperformed the mustard meal for root rot disease. The mustard meal showed a significantly lower population of broadleaf weeds and percentage of plot covered by weeds as compared to the control. In summary, in Alberg, Vermont, the varieties Caliente 61 and Caliente 119 performed well in terms of mustard yield and lower rates of potato skin disease. Between both the Alberg and Walcott locations, the earlier planting dates had greater mustard yields. In Walcott, the first planting date also showed lower rates of bean root disease, and the mustard cover crop plots had higher yields for the high-style beans, which are susceptible to root rot. 
During the summer of 2016, we continued this project with a mustard variety trial of Caliente 119, Caliente 199, Trifecta, White Gold, and Kodiak. We also began a planting date trial, and as a new aspect of this research, also included a seeding rate trial. In the spring of 2017, we will plant potatoes. For more detailed information on mustard performance, soil health impacts from the mustard, and vegetable performance, refer to our full report at our website shown here.